Welcome to Starblock. This time we're bringing you Jose Melendez. Angel Rocco. Angel Rocco. How's it going, Jose? I'm doing good. How are you, man? Good, good. Oh, yeah. the show. Thank you. Thank you for having me. On Wild 94.9. Uh, how'd you get started? Actually, my best friend, Tim Martinez, was the one who basically got me interested. You know, then him and I, we basically got our little mobile group together going. and Early influences, inspirations that made you oh, want to be a, oh, a yeah. DJ? Uh, Qbert. You know, world-renowned, incredible, scratch, trick, just all-around great DJ. Hubert. I went to high school with him, you know, hanging around with groups such as uh, Spintronics, Lifestyle, you know, I mean, there were a lot of, lot of DJ groups around. So, I'm sure you got started spinning in the clubs. Oh, yeah. And then la later on led you to 94.9? Yeah, the whole club thing was just an, I mean, literally, me getting into the clubs was literally an accident and yet a blessing. <laughs> And I ran into this guy named Dino Rivera, who was pretty much part of the original Spintronics group out of Daily City. And we hit it off. And I learned so much from him. I mean, all these DJs I'm talking about, I learned so much from. And then he'll come back to the next. He'll come back to the next party, put the set, put the same set together, and all of a sudden, somewhere in the middle, switch it up. Uh, my first club experience was this club in the city that's no longer there. It was called Club Mirage, and that's where I met this guy named Mark Escalante, who was kind of one of the residents there. Somehow we hooked up, and he did something that hardly any DJs would nowadays do, and that's basically invite me to come spin with him. The other resident DJ who was named Dr. Randy Wong, great guy. From these two guys, I literally learned how to play. Swaggin' Genesis, one ninety nine a month. These guys taught me so much. Now, when you say they taught you so much, I mean as what would you say like just playing to the crowd i mean yeah yeah exactly like literally looking at the crowd building the dance floor getting the dance floor going <laughs> you know they really taught me how to read crowds which was to this day has been an experience that i couldn't even put an amount of money on it was just like i can look at a crowd and go okay i can go this way that way and if i start to lose them i know how to get them back <laughs> So there is a science to playing to your crowd. People can pick up the book, those yeah. out there that want it. Yeah, <laughs> the book's coming out soon. The paperback, yeah, exactly. The science of DJing, how to get on the radio stations, right? How'd you get here to 94.9, the radio station? Well, the, the, quick, the, the, the long story short, you know, is like I said, the, the club career started kicking off. My advantage was that I got to meet a lot of people since they were running commercials. The staff would come down to the club, hang out and chill, and I got to meet him. Uh, this guy by the name of Alex Mejia, he gave me my first guest spot. Have you seen how much you've evolved from when you first went on the radio to now? Oh, yeah, yeah, because, I mean, you know, like I said, as I got through the, as I was getting through the club scene, I eventually got my shot, you know, creating the street buzz and being consistent with the clubs, and I guess they liked my style, and eventually... I got my first shot. What's up, dude? What's up, what's up? My boss calls me up one day. He goes, hey, you need to come down and to talk to you. And I'm thinking, oh, God, what did I play? What did I do wrong? Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. <laughs> I walk into I walk in, I'm like, and I'm like, yeah. And they're, like, and, and they're like saying, you know, he was talking to the guy who just got promoted. He's like, you didn't tell him? And he's like, no. I'm like, tell me what? And they're like, how would you like to do the wild work at noon? I just promoted him to music director. And I'm like... Uh, Duh, yeah. <laughs> Go meet Renee Taylor. So basically, we met her, we hit it off, and she did wonders for my show, for me. Here you are now. You, you like, you love a song so much, but you may hear a little different version of it, things of that nature. So that's why the mixes are so special because they're, they stand out from everything else that we do. Uh, so you got the wild working at noon, which is coming up. Now, tell me some about the experiences, uh, crazy stuff that you've experienced. Oh, yeah. Fanatics, your this is, your fans. This is a PG show, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've got to meet a lot of great people. I've got to meet a lot of celebrities and artists. You know, things of that nature. I mean, I think my biggest. I mean, if I if I'm thankful for anything, really, is basically playing to the Bay Area on a daily basis 
and playing in front of people. Well, not only that, they're going home after the nightclubs and having babies, yeah. uh, you know, <laughs> hooking up because of you. <laughs> well, I, I guess I've helped make a few babies out there, but it's all good. <laughs> Where do you see the music going in the future now that you've seen the, the well, transitions yeah, like over I, time? Like I said, I've seen, I, well, the transition, it continues. I am hungry and love me. Just want to touch you for a minute. It's kind of, kind of come almost going full circle because now it's a variety of music. You can have whatever you like. You like. You you can have. It's great that I get to play everything from T.I. to Lady Gaga to Kanye. To Beyonce, it's you know, and a lot of these artists are basically changing up their sound or setting the trends, like Lady Gaga and whatnot. They're you know, Black Eyed Peas are using a more dancey sound and whatnot, but at the same time, they're going to <clears throat> stay true to their roots as far as music and implementing how you know how they want to create. And you just evolve with it, you accept it, or do you? Is there some music that you feel like, oh my gosh, uh, oh. <laughs> I can't believe they're playing this? You there have been plenty of records over the years. Oh my God, I can't stand that song. But they hate it so much that they will listen to it. Talking about change, um, you know, vinyl to CD. You know, it's like put, throwing on a piece of vinyl, putting a needle, you know, that takes a couple seconds. Putting in a CD, ejecting it, loading it up, you know, eight to 10 seconds. Wow, it sounds like sex. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Great, great analogy. He's on the streets. He's just as real and humble as you can get. Uh, I want to thank Starbuck. Thank you guys for really, really, I appreciate, you know, just the love here and go. for noticing me. And Angel. Angel you've been go. tuned in this time. Angel, 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 Angel,